health alert. Is it possible to burn calories just by thinking really, really hard? I hope so. <laughs> well, apparently the answer is yes, too. And our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here to tell us how a mental workout can actually pay off. So if you've just spent your weekend lounging on the couch, binge watching television, you've likely not used much brain power. And to actually burn calories using your mind, you need to engage it. Now our brains run on glucose, and glucose is a specific type of sugar you get from foods, mainly from carbohydrates like fruit, bread, and potatoes. It helps nerve cells and chemical messengers process information. Now scientists who have studied how the brain uses energy say tough mental tasks like say solving a math problem or like learning a new instrument requires the brain to burn more glucose than it would if you were surfing social media for example. But don't think that engaging in cognitively challenging work is going to help you slim down because after eight hours of intense thinking guess what you'd only burn roughly 100 calories more than someone who spent that time vegging on the couch. Not too much. So, And as your brain gets low on glucose, you get mentally groggy and tired. So then you need to eat. And that means more calories that you likely aren't going to burn off by thinking alone. If you're looking to burn calories the easy way, here are my prescriptions. Number one is clean the yard. With the leaves starting to fall, you can easily burn some calories raking and bagging them. Also try easy activities like dancing, walking, swimming, or cycling. Just 10 minutes of moderate exercise can rev up your metabolism, which is a great thing. Also get fidgety by moving uh, body parts like tapping your toes or bouncing your knee. Research suggests that you can burn 350 calories a day compared to those who are non-fidgeters. And lastly, do some strength training. You can build muscle mass and that'll help you burn even more calories if you're watching TV, for example. But if you're someone that has a job where you're engaged in plenty of mind-challenging work day after day, then there's a possibility you might just benefit physically from it. But it could take 50 or more years. I'd recommend that everyone make movement a part of their lives and you'll reap benefits of health benefits such as decreasing high blood pressure diabetes just from doing that i'm dr partha nandy thanks so much dr nandy and if you have a question or health concern for the doctor you can email him dr nandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on facebook or twitter